they're trying to get you to question your reality and let's go out on a date somebody's trying to gaslight you or something someone's about to go out on a date Spirit says they're trying to make you feel like you don't want to go on a date. Someone's about to ask someone out on a date. And someone's trying to gaslight that person. Or get them to question their reality. They're trying to make them feel like they don't want a date. Or ask someone out on a date. Patience. Challenges and vacation you will be traveling soon so there's a need for patience because someone's dealing with some challenges that's the challenge someone's trying to get them to question their reality this could be why somebody hasn't asked someone out on a date yet Spirit says they're trying to get them to question their sanity. That's what's been a challenge. This person's doing inner healing. They're trying to travel and take someone on a date. Thinking, missing you, craving, desiring. Somebody on this card is crying. Somebody could be crying. Somebody's thinking about going on a date. So be patient. This person's about to ask you out on a date. door to romance temple path there's something going on spiritually or behind the scenes that you don't see or this person's going through secretly they're about to open up this door to romance with you, you you're going to need to have some kind of compassion for this person and understanding there's more going on than meets the eye Discovery. This person is discovering something. They're discovering something spiritually. Spirit says they found out what they need to do. They found out what they need to do now. Uriel. Archangel Uriel could be working with this person, the color red. Emotions, healing, devotion, integrated. They know that they need to put fear and pride aside is what I'm hearing. Soul groups, number 37. This person could be part of your soul group. Messages, reunion connection validation they want to connect with you or reconnect with you have a reunion with you they're going to message you this person could have been trying to get validation from somebody or was trying to get the approval of somebody else they've been all up in their head overthinking something with a date it's because someone's trying to get them to question their sanity or something like that. Yeah, split the deck, the moon magician. Somebody's doing magic over this person secretly. Possibly mental magic. That's what they're learning about and discovering. Magician reversed. 
Knight to Swordry first. They're trying to make this person think that they're crazy or something like that. That's what they've been trying to do, but there's a change. Judgment, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups. Now this person wants to reconnect with somebody. They want to have a reunion. They've been like twisting this person's mind or something or trying to twist their thinking or something like that. This is mental magic. It's like they've been doing this aggressively though, like nonstop. Spirit says they've been doing this 24 seven. They do this 24 seven or 24 hours a day. Messing so with this person's mind so they can't think straight, so they so that they cannot ask you out on a date. So, anyways, there's a change of so it's 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 wearing off or something that's fading away. Knight of Cups. Here's them. They're about to ask you out on a date. Six of Swordry first. Somebody had this person's mind unbalanced. They was in bad mental health or mentally unbalanced, mentally had mental disharmony. Eight of Wands. This person has been waiting to come out of the cold with you. Five of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, there was like a long delay or something like that or a long waiting period. King of Cups. This person's in love with you. This is possibly a masculine, or at least one of these people is a masculine energy. They're trying to do, they're trying to do this magic on this person right now, but it's not working. Eight of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Swords, Chariot. They're still moving forward. Yeah, Devil. Somebody has some Devil energy. Or somebody tied to the devil is doing this. Somebody evil is doing this. Somebody evil, wicked, and dark. They're trying to get them to question their reality or sanity. They're trying to make them feel like they don't want to go on a date or they don't want to ask you out. They're about to move forward with you in the chariot. Whoever is doing this magic over them keeps getting caught. They're trying to make them feel like they don't want to go towards you. The whip. They're like trying to punish this person spiritually or torment them or something. Spirit's telling me something like somebody summoned something. They're trying to summon some kind of dark spirits or something like that. Some demonic spirits are trying to summon to like um, torture this person's mind. Strife, fighting, perseverance, energy, competition. It's kind of like this person has control over whatever that is now though. They can tell what's real and what's not is what I'm hearing. They know, they know how to control this. They're trying to mess with this person's energy or their emotions, but this person's got really good, they've mastered their emotions. They got, they got like really good at, they got really good at something. Hmm. They got, they're good at controlling something now. It's not affecting their mind. The universe is helping this person to the writer draft communication news messages thoughts they had this person in some clouded energy this is hidden this is this is going on secretly this is what your person is not telling you or something Okay, the clouds, difficult ties, a problem, an obstacle. These are just challenges, obstacles this person's get out of 
So be patient. This is almost done. They turn out this person has some kind of illusion. This person is about to drive towards you. They want to pick you up possibly. You guys are going to be riding around together. They're going to message you. They're fighting some kind of... Um, they've been fighting some kind of spiritual battle or something like that. Okay, this person dropped in messages or some kind of communication. They're trying to mess with this person's thoughts. They're thinking. The mature man and mature woman, high honor. A higher power is, is intervening, is helping this person. I'm hearing something like that they are saved. They're saved or something. A higher power or God is saving them. This could have happened because it was tied up to somebody dark or um, a dark soul tie or something like that. A negative soul tie with a karmic or somebody that's got some kind of uh, dark entities they work with or tie to. They keep trying to summon some kind of dark entities to affect this man or woman's mind. They could be trying to do this to both of you guys. So y'all are protected. It's only going to improve now. Things are going to improve if somebody's thinking or these difficult times or challenges, spiritual challenges, emotional challenges. They're trying to have this person in the Eight of Swords, Devil Energy. They're trying to make this person feel like they're crazy or something. This is your lover. This is someone's lover. This person that loves you is about to ask you out on a date. They're going to message you. You're going to have a reunion. You guys are going to be traveling soon. You guys have some kind of spiritual connection. They're, they're trying to use these entities or some kind of dark magic to... Yeah, they already learned about this. Scholar. They already learned about this. They're trying to use these dark entities to, like, basically distract you guys. So there's some kind of emotional healing or something like that. Or energy healing. Some kind of healing is here. So this is good news. This is what your person's been dealing with for a long time. This person, scholar, they learned about this. Military person. This person could be the military. They're in this strong, assertive energy now. They're learning about a false person. This false person is trying to make them question their sanity. Okay, elevator, something about elevator and rendezvous point. You guys are going to meet up, meeting place. You guys could be planning a, some kind of meetup spot. Meeting place, destiny unfolds, convergence, elevator, vertical transport. This person could have been on an elevator or this false person was. Transit between floors. This person's been elevating. They've been elevating. They've been spiritually ascending. And now y'all are about to meet up. Okay, whoever's doing this, they're realizing that they're obsessed. 
somebody's got an obsession with trying to like either conjure or um, call on some kind of dark spirits or something like that or some entities to hurt this person's mind. Yeah, now this person wants a second chance with you. Second chance, reconciliations, making amends, opportunity. Somebody's addicted to trying to summon some kind of dark spirits. That's what your person's finding out about. Wow. This person could have been in a spiritual jail dealing with this. Someone is mad. Somebody's mad. This false person is possibly mad. Your person could be mad at them. What else with this obsession? This person says, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We out of here. Your person's feeling, been feeling lonely and bored. Somebody's going through a storm dealing with chaos right now. This person's raising their vibration to attract better things and experiences into their life. I'm being faithful to only you now. They want this person feeling trapped. Yeah, these entities or whatever had this person feeling stuck in their mind, tormenting them. I'm trying to get out of the past. This was, this was in the past. So it's fading off. It's hard for someone to control their ego when they're around somebody. So this is possibly the false person. Somebody's questioning a connection. So the false person had this person trying to question their reality or their judgment or trying to question their sanity. Now this person is questioning that connection. Somebody could be leaving a dysfunctional home. And someone says, I cannot blame anybody but myself. They're possibly looking at it like, I can't even believe I got involved with this person or karmic. It's my, they're like, it's my fault. Robbery, somebody robbed someone. Robbery. This person didn't take the necessary cautions in the past. They ignored the red flags. This karmic or whoever deceived this person. Merit making. This person's been praying a lot. This person's, they could be seeing somebody spiritual that's helping them. They could be connected with a pastor, a priest, some a Buddhist or something like that. Somebody in church, somebody religious or spiritual that's helping them. They're about to leave a home that they've been feeling trapped in. Real estate reverse trap. Somebody tricked this person. They're realizing this is a trap. They only had this person trapped for so long because whatever the dark spirits or entities was doing or some devil energy. Whatever the devil was doing. That's why that person was trapped. Somebody doesn't want you guys to find out about this. 